going on it's Casey welcome back to my channel hope you're well hope you're safe so in this video I want to show you three different tips to speed up your MIDI workflow speed up your MIDI game get you flying around logic and be more productive but first before I do that I need to shout out two newest subscribers Sharif Dow bro thank you for subscribing I appreciate that and Lloyd George bro I see you're an Arsenal supporter so I like you automatically hope you hit that notification box so that you would have got a notification for this video and for future videos so my favorite comment for this week's coming from Stephen Ivy, no problem bro, no problem at all. I'm here to help, happy to help always. Hope you hit that subscribe button as well. So let's jump into this video. I'm gonna show you these three cool techniques that will speed up your MIDI game. Let's dive in. Tip number one, transposing. So you can transpose the notes by a semitone up or down or an octave up and down. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've got this beat here. I'm gonna transpose the 808 and the harp by a semitone. So to do this, to highlight all the files that are being used, Press P on your keyboard, it's going to bring up all your MIDI notes. To highlight all the MIDI notes, click in this space, Command A, and that's going to highlight all the different sounds that's being used, all the different MIDI notes. To go up or down a semitone, hold all and press up or down. I've gone up one semitone. If you don't like how it sounds, you can just press Ctrl and Z and that will go back to your previous Ctrl and Z again and that will take you back. So you're just undoing it. Same if you want to go down the semitone, hold all arrow key. Here's a bonus tip, say for example you don't really know how to play keys but you know how to play a few chords in a certain key. You can play the chords and just use that to transpose the chords into a different key. Or if you just want a different sound or feel, this simple trick can make all the difference. So I'm just going to show you now to jump up an octave or down an octave. I'm just going to show you using the harp so that it don't get confusing. So we've got the harp. Click in the space. Highlight them all, Control and A. Then we're going to press shift and alt, then up or down, using the arrow keys. Now that's gone up a whole octave. Control Z, back to where he was. Hold shift and alt if you want to go down an octave. Control and Z and that will take you back to where he was. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is velocities. So you can change the velocities by just using the mouse and two buttons on your keyboard. So if you've got the notes and they're all looking the same, it won't sound like it's been played in. For example, if all these notes had the same velocity, it's a bit too accurate, so it doesn't feel real, it doesn't sound real. So what you can do is choose a note, Hold control and command. You can go up and down, up or down with using your mouse to change the velocity. Or if you've got a note that's too loud, that's hitting too hard, because sometimes it makes it sound different. So yeah, you can just easily go in there and change the velocity. So that's tip two. Tip number three. I love this one because I noticed beat makers in, in the studio using FL Studio and that and there will be that pressing keys and doing duplicates of regions or notes. I was thinking that like, why can't Logic do that as well? We can. I'm gonna show you. So we've got this region, we've got this region here. If you want to duplicate and make it jump across, if you want to duplicate it across, you can either hold all and drag it across, drag and drop, or shortcut, command and R. And there you have it. Easy as that. Nice, quick, simple. It's the same with notes. If you try to duplicate the notes, same thing. I like them all. Command and R. And that's going to snap to the grid of whatever your grid layout is. So bear that in mind. Normally good for if you're doing something that's repetitive, like hi-hats or, or you've got like a little something that you've played and it's, you just want to try and repeat that one, then that's handy. So that's tip three. Region, repeat. Note repeat. I've got two more for you, two bonus tips. Say for example you've got 
a MIDI file I don't know from a drum pack my drum pack or someone else's drum pack and all the notes are accurately on the grid all the same velocities and it sounds robotic so it might look something like this with all the notes hitting at the same velocity accurately on the grid quantized cool trick jump into functions go to MIDI transform hit humanize and then just click select and operate you can click it as many times as you want I normally do it about once or twice depending on the sound of it and the velocities the velocity hits and then just come out of that and now you've got a humanized MIDI region if you want to copy that across command and R job done bonus tip 2 is you don't have to press record when you're playing in your MIDI you don't have to press record if you're playing in your keys simple trick that I always use I play something in then I just hit shift and R on the keyboard Shift and R, and there you got your MIDI notes recorded for you in the background. Because Logic's clever like that. So, and sometimes you know when you hit record, you get nervous and start fluffing and messing up your lines because the pressure's on. This will get you out of that mess. So there it is. Some cool tips and tricks for your speed up your MIDI game, get your MIDI game on point. Gave you two bonus ones in there as well. I don't normally drop bonus tips in my videos, but. Why not? If it's going to help you up your game, then I'm all for that. If you want to hit me up on Instagram, feel free. DMs are always open. Always happy to help. Got any questions, drop me one on Insta. Or just drop it down in the comments below. If this video has helped you at all, you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.